Hey, this is Christopher, and thank you for taking the time to uh, to look into this. You are going to be very happy you did, because not only can you you double and get a hundred percent ROI, but I'm I'm actually going to show you how I personally have gotten four to five hundred percent better results um, by by doing things this way. So let's let's just do a couple examples real quick. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this as short as possible, but I want to I want to make sure you understand because this once you get this, this will drastically change your your income. <laughs> Um, because things are going to be on autopilot. Things are going to be going uh, exactly where where the buyer needs to be to make that buying decision, and and that's going to mean more time, more money, and and that's that's really going to mean uh, a lot better life. <laughs> um, so um, let's say we search for restaurant in Denver, and you can see. Uh, it's got an even trickier. They've started putting these up here, and sometimes they do this, sometimes they don't, because they really want to push local reviews. Uh, but the ads are still here on the side, and we've got all the big, you know, Open Table, Zagat. Um, but let's open up this here. So Vita Restaurant, and it's going straight to their home page. It, it, you know, what do I do? I've now got all these different links to go get lost in. You know, really, you should have sent me straight to a reservation page. Would have been better. Um, but but you need you, you don't send to the home page. What what do we got? Fleming Steakhouse. So they're they're saying they they didn't go to the home page, but they said choose a location. So now now I've got to go through this this whole process and directions. But that's that's about it. So they they've got a landing page of find a location, um, but that's that's it. Let's see best Mexican restaurant in Denver. How about I try this search? We've got this one here is running an ad and it goes to their Google Plus page, uh, not even to their website or to, or to their, uh, <laughs> and, and actually, this is probably a Google Plus ad, uh, open table, uh, catering service. So on the border is running an ad. See these national franchises know and what are they doing? Look at this. Somebody with a brain. <laughs> this is a landing page. It's a specific page. It's not the home page. It's a specific page saying, boom, this is what you're looking for. Get your coupon. So if I click print, what, what happens? What, what does it do? So, so they've got one thing right. It goes straight to print. Now, even better... And that's step two, is if, if they were building their list. Because um, I get all sorts of stuff and I lose coupons all the time. Because uh, and, and this is this is the third point. Only 1% of people are buyers. Everyone else is doing this thing called surfing the web. And by surfing the web, they're window shopping. I mean that that's what we go to Google for. Uh, that's what we go online for is is to to find information, to do some research. And I, I mean you should always take advantage of that one percent. You should you should uh, you know one have a landing page. So uh, and two you want to create authority. So authority you know you you have social proof. You have. Uh, testimonials, you, you let people know that you are the best, that you are the expert, and uh, and you go for that sale for that 1%. But if you can't get the uh, the sale, or, or if you want more than just that sale, why not, why not build your list? 
why not get people onto your email list? Because these, if 1% are buyers, 99% are future buyers. So you want to you wanna get into that. I wonder if anybody else is, uh, is advertising. We go to Italian. How's that looking? So here we've got uh, another restaurant. Again, it, it's a national chain, so they know what to do. And, and it looks like we're on the location page. <laughs> Why wouldn't they just send me here? And I don't need directions. Why not send me to... To, you know, if, if you want to make the sale, why not show me online reservations? God, how long does it take? God, finally, four or five clicks. Why not send me here to make a reservation? Save me four clicks. Or even better yet, get me into an email list, you know, and uh, like those coupons, that Mexican restaurant, they could have said, get your coupon. And instead of print this coupon, they could have said, What's your email and we'll send you this coupon. And then they can they can market to this person again and again and again and again and again because they've got their email. They don't have to pay to get that person again because they're on the email list. The uh, Here's another cherry tomato. Let's see what they're doing. And then this is any business. So it's just going to the home page. This, okay, great. I, it, oh, wasting money, wasting, flushing money down the toilet. Let's see. So we do uh, attorney. And, and these guys, it looks like they're going to personal injury because that's what they want, right? So let's see what it says. <laughs> this is embarrassing. It's a 404 error. The page doesn't exist. So they're sending people to a page that doesn't exist. But the thought was, um, it was supposed to be a page about personal injury. Uh, gee, can we help you? Yes, sure. Let's see. What's it say? So it's going into live chat. So even better would be if they went into email. What do we have here? We've got... which has a phone number, that's great, but there, there's no landing page. They've got a fancy new website, but they're, they're losing money. What do we, where do we go on this guy here? So this goes not to their home page, but to their personal injury page. And, uh, but I didn't search for personal injury, <laughs> but again, it's not, they're sending to a specific page, but I wouldn't really call this a landing page because really the point of the landing page is to get the sale. Um, so you need specific elements. You need to create authority to let people know that you are the absolute best and there's no need to search any further. And you do that with social proof. I don't see any Facebook or plus one or, or testimonials. I, I don't see any proof going on. And, and what if I'm not the 1%? What if I'm just thinking about this? I'm not sure if I want to do this. Well, that's how 99% of the people are. They're future buyers. And you've got to get them onto your list. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay to get them again. You're going to have to pay for that click in the future. And clicks can go for, for $1 to, well, here, for example. Let me, uh, let me show you this here. Let's say you're paying $1 per click. And 100 clicks equals one sale. And that's because 1% are buyers. So I hope that what you're selling costs at least $100. I, honestly, at least $200, because otherwise you're losing money. And clicks often range whoops, from $5 to $50, depending on what you're advertising. But if you can get, let's say, half, into your email list. That's 50 people. 
you now have. You can now reach out to these people on a regular basis without paying to contact them again. You don't have to pay for another ad. All you have to do is send them an email. And what I have done, I have done 8%, 6 to 8% conversion of prospect to buyer because I allowed them to know, like, and trust me. So this, this provides the proof and allows them the time to become a buyer. They have to know, like, and trust me. They have to, they have to realize that I am the authority. They have to realize that there is nobody better and that they definitely want to go with me. And, and that takes some automated follow-up. And by doing this, I can convert, I, I convert 8%, but let's, let's go with 6%. 6% of 50 people of 50 prospects is another three sales. So one sale immediately plus three more <laughs> whoops equals 400 percent better return on investment. So getting to uh, doubling your ROI <laughs> to a 200 percent is actually that's no big deal. Because only one, one, maybe two percent of people are buyers, and and when you're paying one to five to twenty-five to fifty dollars a click, and and you don't get the sale, you want to wait. Let's say it's a divorce attorney, and gee, I'm I'm looking into it, but I'm not sure. Or let's say a bankruptcy attorney. Jewelry stores Denver. So here we've got the jewelry exchange. And let's see, let's see what they've got going on. Are they, do they have a landing page? Uh, it is sending me to, it looks like the, uh, uh, one of their, their franchises is, it's sending me to the local page. But again, and they've got some testimonials here. Good job, guys. They've got some testimonials. So they're helping create authority. But this is not a landing page that is going for the sale. This doesn't really entice me. It's not a landing page. It's not selling the 1% and it's not capturing any my my prospects. The uh let's let's see here. So is this the home page? Yes, this is this is the home page. So they they they're not they're sending me to the home page. No landing page. There's no enticement for me to buy. You know, they're, they're not creating authority and giving me social proof and letting me know, like, and trust them to make the sale. Uh, they've got old stuff here. This is done. Um, and they're not building their list. Let's try another. And, and we'll, we'll wrap this up here really quick. So this is going to... I, you know, <laughs> welcome. So it looks like it's the home page. Let's let's just click home and, and see. Boy, this loads slow. You want to have a fast loading website. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's just the home page. And look, uh, see, this is this is their name. Their website's basically invisible to Google. That's why they have to buy ads, because the the title right here. If you see this bubble. The title is their name, and nobody is searching for their, your name. Nobody knows you exist. Nobody cares about your name. They want to know what's in it for them. And they they want to know, as you see, I didn't go search for Daniel Diamonds. I searched for Jolly Store in Denver. That's how you should optimize, keyword optimize your website. But that's, that's I, well, I'm not talking websites right now. Do you, do you see where having a landing page 
is important. You don't just send them to the home page because if people are, are looking for something very specific, you need to give that to them. You know, which means you're listening to them and you're responding to them and giving them what they want, which really means you're more likely going to get that sale. So, so do you think a landing page, in your opinion, do you feel that would be beneficial? And then for the people who are the buyers, not for our future buyers, not the 99%, but for the 1% who are buyers, do you feel it would be important to create authority? Let's say I'm going to get... Uh, some cosmetic dentistry, right? Do you, do you think it'd be important to let me know that you are the absolute best in town? See, so now they've got a call. They say call. And, and where's, where's all the reviews? Where's all the... Actually, I kind of like the site a little bit. Um, but, you know, here, here's a little bit of bling saying they're the best. Um, this goes, uh, where does this go to? So this is the home page, but they're sending it to a page on their website. But again, it, it's just, uh, well, it's a cosmetic dentistry page. Well, it's actually, it's a cosmetic dentistry landing page. They made a page, so they made a landing page, but the only thing they have here. They're not really going for the sale. They have a specific page, but they're not going for the sale of the 1%. And they're not building their list either. They're Actually, they're saying get a consultation is, is what they're saying here. You know, and if I'm looking for something, if I'm looking for something big like this, I, I want to know you are the best. And you're... You're, uh, so they, they sent me straight to the breast augmentation page. <laughs> and because uh, here's the home page. Let's go back. See, but I can click anywhere. I can click all over and get lost. And, and actually, you know, if you are the best, if you're trying to sell me, I'm the 1%, I'm ready to buy. You've only got one person who likes you. And you think I'm going to buy from you? And the big thing is ask me a question. That's not going to happen. But most people don't buy right off the bat. Most people, you need to, to convince them. Now here we've got, uh, is this the home page? Let's see. Yes, it, it goes straight to the home page. They've got no landing page. I searched for plastic surgery. I did not search for body sculpting. So, so having that landing page that talks about what I'm searching for is gonna great is gonna be better it's gonna be better than just some generic thing that doesn't doesn't even match what I'm looking for and and being the authority I can you agree that let's see well here this this looks like it goes to they're, they're going to the breast page because the home page looks like this. So, so they're going straight to enhance your breasts. All right, well, I, I don't need my breasts enhanced. <laughs> I was looking for plastic surgery. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who are looking for breast augmentation for plastic surgery, but not me. Maybe I want, uh, who knows, um, I want to get rid of a unibrow or I, I want a liposuction, or whatever men want. But men don't want breast work. So having the landing page is important. They should have ads about breast surgery to go to this page. But look at this, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the authority? Who was the, uh, was it this one that had, had one like? You know, one tweet, one like. This is not creating authority. I don't see any five-star reviews on any of these. I didn't see any testimonials. That's what I want to know. Where's all my testimonials? Where's 
everybody else saying you are the best in town. And actually, this is this is the closest, you know, 112 people like this. Uh, well, actually, for a fan page, that's that's really bad to only have 112. But it's, it's the biggest number we've seen so far, right? So do you see that number two? One, you have a landing page to talk directly to what the client is looking for. Number two, you want to sell that 1%. And uh, let's get on to page two. So as to recap, one, have a landing page to speak directly to the customers once. Two, sell the 1%. I do know how to spell. I just type too quick. By creating authority via social proof. It's not what you say about yourself. It's what other people say about you. And number three is build your list. So you can sell the future buyers without to pay to contact them again. So if you're building your list, do you, do you see the importance of that? Because if 8% if will buy in the near future, but only 1% are going to buy right now, if you get half those people into your email list and then you can follow up with them to create your authority, to speak to them about what they want to know, see it all ties together, then you can convert another six or eight percent and you just you just quadrupled if you do it what if you do what i did you just quadrupled your number of sales so do you do you in your opinion do you feel that building your list and allowing you to go back to those future buyers and speak to them would be beneficial do you see that that when the one percent who are going to buy visit your page that they buy from you because they realize you are the authority. Do you, do, you, do you feel that that's important? And, and I hope you see the importance of the landing page. So this is kind of a quick explanation of, of what I'm talking about. I, I hope I didn't ramble on too much and I, I hope I didn't confuse you. Um, there is one more secret and, and that gets back to the, the cost per click. If you, if you know how to do Facebook advertising right, you can get it for uh, uh, an even higher ROI because your cost per click is less. But there's a whole different strategy. Uh, the same key elements here, but the way you, you run your ads is a lot different uh, because it's in a social media and people are not going there looking for information. Google people go looking for information. Facebook people go to be social. So there's a it's, it's a completely different way to handle it. But there's a whole nother opportunity of running an ad on Facebook. So I would love if this is making sense to you. And, and do you think it's making sense? Is it, did you follow? Do you, do you kind of get it? I would love to, to answer any questions you have. I'm sure you have some questions uh, because I'm, I'm not used to, to explaining this this way. Um, but I, I hope I got it across. But email my assistant. Email uh, Tina. And let's set up a time to chat. Send her your URL, your website URL, and all the details and what you're doing and what you got going on. Send her a few times that work. And uh, and tell her to, to give you uh, rush priority scheduling. And let's talk this week. So we can, um, so I can answer any questions you have and see how I can help save you some money. All right. I uh, look forward to your email and look forward to working together.